The rain poured in sheets, a relentless downpour that turned the world into a blurry, distorted painting. I hurried down the deserted streets, my only companion the rhythmic drumming of rain on the pavement. My breaths came in ragged gasps as I raced to catch the last bus home. I reached the bus stop just in time to see the tail lights of the departing bus fade into the stormy night. Panic clenched my chest as I realized I was stranded, alone in the pouring rain. I glanced around, hoping for a shred of familiarity, but all I saw was an empty street and the looming silhouette of a nearby park. With a sinking feeling, I realized my only option was to seek refuge in the park's shelter until the next bus or until the rain eased. I dashed across the street and sought shelter beneath the canopy of trees that lined the park's edge. The park was a maze of shadows, the rain making it impossible to see beyond a few feet. The shelter was a small gazebo at the heart of the park, its roof offering a feeble barrier against the relentless downpour. I huddled beneath it, shivering from both cold and fear, the pitter-patter of rain providing a haunting soundtrack to my isolation. As minutes stretched into what felt like hours, the park seemed to transform in the darkness. Trees swayed ominously in the wind, their branches clawing at the sky. Shadows danced across the ground, morphing into eerie shapes that seemed to taunt and tease. I tried to distract myself, pulling out my phone to pass the time. But there was no signal, no connection to the outside world, a chilling reminder of my isolation. As the rain intensified, the world outside the shelter became a blur of darkness and water. My eyes strained to see through the relentless deluge, but all I could discern were vague shapes moving at the edges of my vision. Unease settled over me, a primal instinct warning me of something lurking in the shadows. I hugged my knees to my chest, feeling a growing sense of vulnerability in the midst of this stormy isolation. Suddenly, a rustling sound echoed from the far end of the shelter, a noise distinct from the relentless rain. My heart skipped a beat as I strained to see through the curtain of water. Was someone else seeking refuge here? Hello? I called out, my voice barely audible above the storm. No response. The rustling grew louder, accompanied by the soft padding of footsteps. Fear gnawed at my insides as I contemplated the possibility of someone or something lurking in the darkness. My mind conjured images of unknown creatures, of eyes gleaming in the shadows, and of sinister figures lurking just beyond my line of sight. The rain distorted my senses, amplifying every sound and movement into a specter of terror. I clutched the edges of the shelter, my knuckles turning white as I fought to keep my composure. But the feeling of being watched persisted, an unsettling sensation that crawled beneath my skin. Then. A low, guttural growl sliced through the sound of rain. My breath caught in my throat as a pair of glowing eyes emerged from the darkness, fixed on me with an intensity that sent a shiver down my spine. I recoiled, my heart racing as the figure approached, a large, shadowy form that moved with an unnatural grace. Panic surged through me, my mind racing with thoughts of escape. I scrambled to the edge of the shelter, ready to flee into the rain-soaked night, when suddenly, the figure paused. A voice, barely audible above the storm, called out from the darkness. The figure stepped closer, its features becoming clearer in the dim light. It was a dog, a large, soaking, wet dog with sad, pleading eyes that seemed to implore me for help. Relief flooded through me as I realized the source of my terror, a harmless, lost animal seeking refuge from the storm. I reached out cautiously, my hand trembling as I gently stroked the dog's fur. Its trembling body leaned into my touch, seeking comfort in this shared moment of vulnerability. As the rain continued to pour, I sat with the dog in the shelter, the fear dissipating into a sense of companionship. Despite the storm raging outside, there was solace in the shared solitude. A fleeting bond between two lost souls seeking refuge from the unforgiving night. And as I waited for the next bus, 
The presence of the loyal canine by my side brought a semblance of comfort in the midst of the eerie isolation 